Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackHere.com. Today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Stars Fusion one-piece race suit. The Alpine Stars Fusion one-piece suit retails for $14.99.95 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand, we don't update for pricing changes, only when the product itself has been completely redesigned. This is the evolution, right? This is actually a really big step forward right now in race suit design and technology. The Fusion, this will explain the name, brings together a lot of traditional materials that we're all accustomed to seeing in race suits, such as leather, such as the CE armor, and it blends in some new materials. Material one is going to be the ride knit fabric that is used where, you're norm where you normally would see the traditional all black stretch. The big news is right here, and it's, this is used all throughout the suit, and we'll kind of articulate that as we go. This is the matrix material right here. This is a synthetic material that is a very tightly woven mesh that has more tear and abrasion resistance than leather. It also free flows air completely. As we go through this video, Lucas is gonna show you like a little shot where I had it up in the air. You could, we're facing the light and he shot from behind it. All you see is light. Tremendous airflow. This thing wears really light. Before I ramble on too much, I'm five feet 11 inches tall, 195 pounds. I have on an Alpine Stars KR3 back protector, 33 inch waist. I'm wearing a 54 euro. I get a really good comfortable fit right off the peg. This garment is Tech Air 5 compatible. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out. Alpine Star is the company that always races ahead. There may be a different product on the horizon. With that said, the Tech Air 5 is not going to be obsolete. It would be a complimentary thing. It is a little bit down the road, so the Tech Air 5 is still 100% a current very effective product. They introduced the race algorithm to it. This year, we sold several of the people riding and racing on the track. We were at Barber Motorsports Park for the finale of Moto America, right? They're racing with Max and Junior Cup. And one of our good friends, Joe Lamandry Jr., high sided, bummer in race two, in the wet. His Tech Air 5 vest deployed while he was in the air before he hit the ground. Did a little video with Joe, and if you want to see how happy he was, watch the video because he felt it made the difference between being injured and not being injured. We recommend anyone that can afford the airbag technology to use it. So the Tech Air 5, very effective, sells at a very fair price. This garment, as of today, is not going to be compatible with Tech Air Race. That is a system that actually zips into the suit, okay, that has the LEDs on the sleeve. Alpine Stars is kind of moving more in this universal direction. I have heard some rumblings that have, none of them have come true yet about some possible upgrades that will allow the Tech Air Race to be used in suits that don't have the LEDs in the sleeve, but that is TBD. We'll talk about it when the time comes. If, in fact, the time comes, there will still continue to be suits produced that are Tech Air Race compatible for you Tech Air Race owners. No need to worry. There's still going to be kick-ass product for you to zip your Tech Air Race in, and I'm really happy about that because I have one of those. Max has two of those, so I want to see that move forward just as much as any other Tech Air Race owner would. Putting on the suit with the Tech Air 5 airbag vest. With that product, the best way we have found to do it is to lay the vest inside the suit, tuck the arms into the arms of the suit, Pull the suit up, slide your arms in through the vest, into the arms of the suit, zip up the vest, get everything positioned, zip up your suit, and you'll be good to go. Tried and tested, we know that it works for sure. Uh, I've said all that stuff, let's talk about this suit. This is really very interesting to me, okay? We did weigh it, because I thought, you know, this is probably going to be, because it feels so light when you hold on to it. I thought it was going to be lighter than we have a 54 missile V2 ignition that we reviewed. They weighed basically the exact same, okay, which I thought was interesting. 
with that said, in terms of airflow and just overall comfort, I feel like I'm wearing a unicorn onesie right now. I don't normally wear that, but I have been known to wear that on Halloween, and I can assure you it was very lightweight and very comfortable. This feels like that right out of the gate, okay? That's the, just the difference in material use. The ride knit stuff here, super comfy. All the matrix, and there's some ride knit here as well, ride knit across the chest. All the matrix material in the torso and the legs just has this thing flowing air so freely. Like if you were riding with this in a 50 degree day, you'd probably want to take it off and put your old leather suit on that was just perforated. You know, I may actually take this and ride in it at Granton this week. We'll see if Alpine Stars is going to freak out if I do that. I might ask, I might not ask and just do it. So I'm really curious, what is this going to feel like when you're on the bike? My expectations are an epic amount of airflow. Even here in the ride knit that's in the sleeves, they've modified the way they do the liner. There is no liner behind the ride knit. It's finished on the back side, so you don't need a liner behind it. So there is a liner that is everywhere where there's not ride knit. So the liner would wrap around here, and it's actually stitched in the arm of the suit. I'm going to show you all this in the second part of the video. The removable liner in this suit is like a muscle shirt. It stops right here, and it actually stops here above the knee. So they've done something very similar down in the lower leg area. Armor that's included. CE armor in the elbow forearm, elbow slider, motion panel in the elbow, reflective there, CE armor in the shoulder, external slider here, some super sweet CE armor in the hips, CE armor in the knee and shin, of course replaceable knee pucks, external knee cup for additional protection in that area, all the cowhide they use, premium grade, super nice stuff, right? Uh, 1.3 millimeter thick. Give you a look at the back of the suit, you can see that they're using more of the uh, matrix back there, perforated race hump to encourage air exchange to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. This is groundbreaking stuff, you know, and it's brand new. And I think, you know, some of us are going to look at it and be like, well, you know, I don't know. You know, they say it's better than leather. You'll also note that everywhere they put the matrix is outside of the impact zone. You know, like you take a crash suit. You know, we've got a couple of suits that have been falling in here over the years. And leather is in all the areas where you're going to take the impact and abrasion, right? A lot of care was made sure to do that, even though this is really strong. You see this is actually some Kevlar reinforcement here too. Even though this stuff is really strong, more abrasion and tear resistant, the cowhide is a proven performer on the pavement. So the idea here is to pick up a lot of benefit with cooling and comfort, which I believe the cut of this suit, I'm gonna say is a little to the roomy side for a 54. You know, I've got a lot of additional room here, and part of that, I think, is going to be a function of having all that stretch fabric. This thing just, just moves with you, right? So I don't know that I could go down to a 52. I think that's going to be too tight. But this would allow me to put on my 15 pounds of winter weight and for it to still be really comfortable. If you like what you've seen so far, stay tuned for the second part. We're going to take this thing off. Get it all disassembled and give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, the all new Alpine Stars Fusion one piece suit from the inside out. We've got a lot to talk about here because there is just a lot of new shit with this suit that we've not seen before. Start off with the armor that's included. This is the perforated race hump. The perforations in this race hump are going to be aligned with the matrix mesh panels on the race hump right here. We talked a little bit about that fabric in the first part of the video. We're going to continue to talk about it because it's super bitching. It is essentially a tightly woven mesh fabric that is more tear and abrasion resistant than leather. It's also lighter and it flows air freely. So being aligned with the perforations in this race hump, it allows for the exchange of air and heat energy in that area working to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. Race level Alpine Stars armor, CE level one certified knee and shin, elbow and forearm, as well as shoulder, all included. 
Same stuff you see in all the higher end Alpine Star racers. Here is the hip armor. This is BioFlex with some energy absorbing foam stitch around it to make it a larger panel. CE certified. If you want to add armor to the chest and back, you can do that. You would need a standalone back protector that has straps and a waist strap. You don't already have one. Some great options in the Alpine Stars armor section of our website. The suit will also accept the Alpine Stars CE certified chest inserts. They're available in the armor section, super affordable. They slide right into a Velcro pocket that is in the chest of the suit. Realistically, this suit was developed, like we talked about earlier, to be used with the Alpine Stars airbag systems. The Tech Air 5 is compatible with this. The Tech Air Race is not compatible. There is no LED on the uh, actual arm of the suit, okay? You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that, hey, you know, Alpine Stars is always racing ahead with new technology and new products, so it, it is likely to believe that at some point you're going to see a different airbag product. With that said, the Tech Air 5 is still state-of-the-art. It will continue to be state-of-the-art through 2022 and then some. It's going to remain current in the catalog. It is a great option with this suit. We've seen that one in action at the racetrack. Our little buddy Joe Lamandry Jr. had a crash at Barber Motorsports Park. Race two of the SportBikeTrackGear.com Junior Cup race. Nice little high side there when he got the rear tire on the paint, got flicked off the bike, the airbag deployed, managed the impact for Joe. He was convinced that it saved him from injury. As you can imagine, we were really happy to see that, as was Joe. So there is your airbag details. Removable liner. There are pockets in the liner that hold the hip armor. You can see it right there. And this is another one of those liners that is terminated above the knee. There is a liner then stitched in for the lower leg area that's fixed inside the suit. This is definitely different. Look at the sleeves on this liner. They are super duper short. That's because this has the ride knit. The ride knit is going to be right up against your skin, enhances comfort and airflow, and then there is a mesh liner that is fixed to the back portion of the arm inside the suit. So this liner looks very different than what we're used to seeing from a removable liner. Focusing on the shell, I can't get over how light that is. We're actually, for the first time ever, we're going to weigh a race suit. Because when I pick this thing up, it feels like I just grabbed on to my unicorn onesie pajamas and snatched them up off the table. Super duper light. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to notice with this, beyond all the exotic materials that are used, is going to be the quality of the race grade leather they've used. The stuff looks very high end and beautiful. You got your matrix fabric back here, all on the race hump. Got ride knit stretch fabric all up here in the base of the neck. Massive leather stretch panel wraps all the way around the front of the suit. You can see we've got matrix fabric here and these are the matrix fabric just like with the stretch material that's all out of the traditional impact zones of course. The matrix fabric as stated earlier more tear resistant and more abrasion resistant lighter stronger flows air freely than leather okay so this is a you know a high-end synthetic fabric massive stretch panel look at the size of the stretch panel here in the waist i mean it's huge it rolls all the way down into the hips that's going to be a game changer in terms of feel when you have this suit on it just allows you to move literally like you're wearing a unicorn onesie we're gonna have two layers of leather here in the seat you can see the integrated tailbone protector ride knit stretch fabric all throughout the crotch all down the back of the legs state-of-the-art stretch fabric. This is actually built to be stronger and more tear and abrasion resistant than the previous stretch fabric they're using on the rest of the race suits. We've got a locking zipper down here in the calf area. You get to the front of the suit and you are going to see an elbow slider integrated, large panels of leather here in the arm, motion panel at the elbow, a little reflective patch there, integrated shoulder protector, 
that works in conjunction with the CE certified shoulder armor underneath this protector. Oftentimes, if you're going to use an airbag, we get the question from the customer, can I remove the armor in the shoulder area? The answer to that is 100% no, even with the airbag. The airbag is designed to work in conjunction with the shoulder armor. It's also important to note that under certain conditions and certain speeds, if the algorithm inside the airbag control unit dictates that it does not need to deploy in a crash, it will not go off. And I have to tell you, you're going to be very happy that your shoulder armor was there when you have that tiny little low side, okay? You don't want to take that out. Here's the super bitching stuff now, right up front. Look at this. All matrix, we're talking this is free flowing air. This now is the benchmark of perforation. Ride knit fabric here. Look at that. All that stretch now, right in this area. Ride knit across the chest. Check that out. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. Riding it up here in the collar. Screen printed asymmetric logo on the matrix fabric. Looks super bitchin'. Riding it spans all the way from the wrist up into the chest. Flows into the underarm area. Do the best I can to kind of show you this too. Here is your mesh liner that is fixed inside the suit. That's going to cover up like the armor and the leather and the stitching. Now there is no liner behind the ride knit. Okay, so this is right against your skin. You remove that layer. Having that layer gone simply makes it cooler and more comfortable for the rider, which is really what the goal with this suit is. Ride knit on the crotch. Look at how far they bring that stretch up into the hip. Here is another large panel of matrix. Once again, that free flows air. There's Kevlar woven into that. Motion panel at the knee, aggressively shaped race knee replacement, uh, replaceable knee sliders. Got a little matrix fabric down here. Inside the suit, just kind of give you a little bit of a look here if we can from the inside out. I mean, when I hold this up to the light, you can see right through it. And we're going to get some B-roll of this. I'm going to have I'm going to have Lucas come around behind me and show the light that's coming through this. This is just crazy cuz that's right in the torso. Can you see that? Like that is the ultimate in perforation. This is going to flow air like nothing has ever flowed air before. Here's the two layers of leather down here in the suit, right? Everything is safety stitched. Everything you would expect from Alpine Stars. This is some groundbreaking stuff. This is really super exciting. I think, you know, being in this for a long time, I'm not surprised to see more synthetic materials now are brought into this. There is a tiny little leap of faith here, let's be honest, right? You know, we're all, especially if you've been doing this for a few decades, you're used to just leather, right? You, you know, you have a really good idea of what to expect from the leather. So there is a tiny little leap of faith and just having to trust in Alpine Stars, which is a stand-up company that's been there for decades working to protect riders, working to enhance the riding experience. Personally, I have a lot of confidence in them. I feel that they've done all their due diligence and homework and testing, and this is going to be a kick-ass product. You still need to get it in the field. You need to get some riders ripping around in it and ultimately testing it in the real world, which would mean throwing it down the road. And I look forward to collecting all that feedback as time goes on and watching this material, right, and this kind of design continue to move forward in all of our garments that we have been riding in for years to enhance our experience. I could tell when the first leather jackets came out in the spring of 2021 that we're using this ride knit fabric. I'm like, that is pretty bitchin'. I wonder how long it's going to take before we see it in a race suit. And well, it didn't take very long because here we are in the fall of 2021 
Corona Apocalypse era, and now we're seeing this make its way into the segment that we most appreciate, which is racing. I'm sure there's going to be questions. If I don't have the answer, I'll get you the answer. Leave that in the comment section of this video. I'm always here to help you choose the right gear for your next drive.